Peace Morris. On this rainy Wednesday. Peace love to all the Muslims, all the Moors out there. Back in the rack. Back in the rack, man. Back in the rack. What up with it? Peace love to all the Moors. All the Muslims. What's the word? As you see, as you see right now, people starting to get more and more desperate showing who they really are. It ain't nothing but studying what you supposed to be studying. Love, truth, peace, freedom, and justice. Knowledge yourself. And then you start to recognize as this shit crumbling, the more and more people going to reveal themselves, who they really are, what they about. I put a post up. Peace and love to all the Moors. I put a post up with some, some more biters. She was talking about love. And she was talking about she made a lot of she made a lot of valid ass points on that. Uh, her main point that made me repost it was love is the first principle. Love is the first principle. Numero uno. A lot of people, they out here, they really do love with conditions. A lot of people out here really love with conditions. DMV, Islam, let me know where y'all tuning in from. A lot of people out here do love with, 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 with conditions. Then you got to be like, well, there's so many people out here loving with conditions. How are we ever going to get somewhere? If it's supposed to be unconditional love, you out here loving with conditions... How you ever going to get somewhere? They got like pre-existing conditions determine how much love they're going to give. Connecticut up in here. Islam. You can't get nowhere if you got pre-existing conditions on, on what kind of love you're going to give out. Shit don't work like that. It don't work like that. It's not, it don't work for uh, something what you would say is long term. Shout out to Canaan land. Yes, sir. Peace and love to all the Moors everywhere around the world tuning in. And the Moors that will tune in. I just popped on here to beam out some real fast. Check the post out. See what's good with the Moors. You know. All the nationalities, really. Because this is... See, this is why I said love. And this is why, Noble Drew Ali, I'm seeing... The more I'm diving into this more science, I'm seeing why the prophet was saying a lot of things that he was saying. Being love is the first principle. And the ancient ones were saying love is the first principle. Love don't mean be no sucker. See, a lot of people be... I noticed that people get it fucked up because they think like... Because you show love, that mean like you soft. Or you show love, that mean like you weak. You show love, that mean like you like a sucker or something. That ain't no sucker. If you show love to somebody, that ain't no sucker shit. That's, that's real shit. Like if you show... Genuine love to somebody that ain't no sucker shit. That's just real shit. You show love to somebody because you would want somebody to show love to you. That ain't no sucker shit to show love, fam. That's that's grown. That's grown shit. That's when you that's when you know that you done rose above a lot of petty bullshit. When you can show love, genuine love, it ain't got no it ain't got no terms and conditions on it. That ain't no real love. That ain't real love, fam. If it's real love, you ain't got terms and conditions. You ain't got none of that shit. You got, look, I got you, you got me. That's what it is. That's love. All that other shit, people be like, man, what can I get? What can I get out of this? What can I get out of this situation? That ain't love. That sound like a contract. That sound like, that sound like a material contract, terms and conditions. That don't sound like some unconditional. That ain't that. They only know unconditional love from Pac song. Not actually, man, real life though. Let me know y'all tuning in from. Because if it's, when it's real, you just know. You don't got to put up a buffer. When something is real, you don't got to put a buffer up. When something is unconditional, you ain't got to put a buffer up. You don't got to put a buffer up. And then the whole time, when you're thinking about it, when you really show love to somebody, it's like, 
when you really show love to somebody, it's like you can actually just fully be yourself a hundred. But you yourself got to be a hundred with yourself in order for you to be a hundred with somebody else. Like you can't be a hundred with somebody else if you ain't first a hundred with yourself. That part. You can't be. You can't be. And I see why the Prophet Noble Jali said that. And universal law is love. Truth, peace, freedom, and justice. I see why that is, though. Because whole time, even if you love somebody, you could, you could like, look, you love somebody, and it'd be like, all right, look, certain shit got to get chopped off. Now, if you didn't love them, you would be fake around them. Or a situation you might put yourself in, you might be around people that you showing real love to them, and then whole time, they ain't really got real love for you. Be like that. But if you love yourself enough to recognize them signs and them symbols and you recognizing behavior, you start to peep like, nah, this this ain't really the love that I'm that I I'm looking for. This ain't really the love that I need. This ain't really the love that I want to be around. That shit. A lot of people, they say they want to fix, they want to fix the conditions and whatnot outside, but fam, you looking and you know how somebody be like, uh, Somebody worried about the wrong shit. You know how people say that? Somebody be worried about the wrong shit. Case in point. Somebody tells you that they're going to do some plumbing in your house. You know what I'm saying? They want to do some plumbing in your house. They want to they wanna fix your car. They want to be a doctor. They want to be a psychologist. Or somebody wants to be your coach or whatever. Your fitness coach. The fitness coach, the plumber, the doctor, they don't have no credentials. None. Somebody like this, case in point. Somebody says they want to be they want to cut your head, they want to be a barber. Yet this person don't have no clippers. They got a lot of mouth. They got a lot of they got a lot of lip boxing. They talking a lot of shit. But they don't have the credentials. They don't even have the tools necessary for them to say what they can do or what they can't do. But they do a lot of this. And I noticed that a, a lot of our people, instead of just calling shit out, I let people slide nowadays with a lot of bullshit. A lot of people, they don't really get checked no more. It's like somebody know today, in today's time, they'll be like, you hating on somebody if you tell them what you really thinking on your mind. Nowadays, they be like, they try to throw that psych, that psyop shit out. Like, nah, you hating because you just saying something that, nah, you not hating. It's not hating. If you saying some real shit and you saying it with love, like, look, that shit you talking about bullshit. That's not hating. That's just calling shit out for what it is. It's bullshit. So when somebody say, like, man, I don't like this because X, Y, Z. And they can critically examine and give in detail what they don't like about shit. That ain't hating. That's calling shit out. And I can give you facts. I can give you evidence on why I'm saying what I'm saying. Nowadays, they look at that shit like hating. Nah, that's just love enough for yourself and for others to be like, well, you say that you want social justice you want that you say you want our people to be uplifted you say that you want a some kind of some kind of something positive for our people then you ask them because the love kick in then you will say well you say that you about like like case in point this lady that they got parading on charades up there on tv with the supreme court justice the Supreme Court Justice lady up there, she talking, they they up there, it's a charade show, G. All that shit is a charade show on TV. And they beaming that shit out. And people, like, got short-term memory. Like, you didn't just remember how these people just said, they just said they was going to help out Ukraine and Russia. You ain't just, you like, this, it's just, it went instantly from COVID, went straight there. Like, you ain't got enough love for yourself to remember that shit that they told you. They've been feeding our people, the public, bullshit. And people just got, like, short-term amnesia. Like, fam. Like, what are you talking about? Like, if 
You don't care about they just they just shit on everybody with this whole pandemic bullshit for the past two years. They've been lying to people for two years, fam. Where's the love enough for ourselves to be like, let's call out bullshit because it's bullshit, because it's the right thing to do. Not be like, nah, I ain't gonna I ain't gonna say nothing because if I say something, then somebody gonna think that I'm hating on them. Or somebody gonna think that you know, that I ain't, that I, that I want to be the oddball, the oddball, so nowadays it's, 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 they, 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 they flipping the narrative to make it seem like it's bad for you to say, peace, cool, Joe, peace and love to all the moors, they, they flipping the narrative and changing it, rearranging it to now, if you say something out of love, and you say, I don't like this, because X, Y, Z, and I can clearly break down with deductive reasoning. I can use logic. I can use knowledge and wisdom. And I can understand and recognize it's bullshit. Nowadays, they'll tell you, nah, you hating. Because you hating, man. You hating because you going against X, Y, Z. Nah. Nah, I got love enough for myself. I got love enough for my people to call bullshit out when I see it's bullshit. Like, that, that so-called black Supreme Justice nominee. Did y'all see the game? They paraded that woman up there. She up there, she ain't talking about nationality. She ain't talking about status. She ain't talking about jurisdiction. She ain't talking about nothing. They up there asking, I seen today. They asked that lady, what is your death? They give it, they, they're screening her. Fam, they're screening her. Like she, some kind of like, you know what I'm saying? On TV. You said, what's the cure for ignorance? Knowledge. Wisdom, understanding. That's the cure for not, for, for ignorance. A person that's ignorant is in the want of knowledge. That's the cure. Yeah, I ain't even see that whole shit. I ain't even see that whole shit, man. And I'm looking at, I'm looking at, like, these platforms where our people be on. I'm like, fam, the people that they parading on, like that lady with this whole so-called black woman on, on Supreme Court nominee bullshit. They ain't asking her nothing about nationality at all. They ain't asking them nothing about everyone has the right to declare nationality. No one shall be arbitrarily deprived of his or her nationality. They ain't talking about that. They ain't talking about none of that. Fam, she bought as sharp. <laughs> she bought as sharp as a wet diaper. That's how sharp she is. Because if she's saying what she's saying about, well, I think we need to get people to come into the field of judi the judicial field and we need to get our people into law, then why are you still letting them identify you as a color person? That part. Huh? The whole world be laughing at us. They be laughing. They be looking at our people like, you said she let child molesters go? Wow. And then the whole people laugh, everybody laughing at us. And it be like, what are y'all, what are you, what, what, what are y'all, like, it, do you got love enough for yourself to be like, look, the system that they keep putting in front of us is bullshit. It's, why don't we just dig in? If you got love enough for yourself like you claim you do. You know what I'm saying? You got love enough for yourself like you claim you, you, you do all this bullshit talking like you got love for yourself. Okay, let's put it to the test. Okay. You said that you want justice for our people. First thing I'm going to ask you is, do you own a copy of the Constitution of the United States? Do you own a copy of... The Universal Declaration of Human Rights. Do you own a copy? Have you read a copy of the Declaration of Rights of Indigenous Peoples? Do you have that? Do you have a copy of the Treaty of Peace and Friendship? Do you have that? Do you have that? You say you want tools, okay, to for salvation and freedom, but not just bark out, we need reparations, we need our rights. If you don't have just those tools, that's like saying you want you want to win a fight, 
They got guns, tanks. They got all kind of firepower. And you, you got them, Islam. And you going up in some kind of war. They got guns, tanks, knives. They got fucking grenades, rocket launchers. They got all of that. You going up in there with a with a Bible, a prayer, and a Quran. And you don't even you ain't even read it. You just got it with you. And you carrying it talking about, well, I got faith that this army, that they got all this machinery and weaponry, that they won't harm us. That's how you going in there. You going in there just like that, blind, hoping to prayer that something is going to change. Instead of being like, well, do you got those things that I named off? Do you have a law dictionary? Because if somebody tell me they're a barber, somebody tell me they're, 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 they're a gun expert, the first thing I'm going to do is look at their credentials. I'm going to look at their tools. I'm going to examine their tools. I'm going to say, well, you say that you're a barber. Okay, do you have tools? If you don't have tools, then why would I let you cut my hair? Why, why would I let you, why would I trust you to cut my hair? So we're talking about love again. So when you say that, that brings, to, that brings to, the, to the front of the conversation. Like, well, this person is doing all this talking about, they have these credentials and this skill set. Right. And nobody's asking the right questions. Yeah, nobody asking the right questions. People just like, oh uh, well, la la la. I'm just going. I'm just going to hope and pray that these politicians on TV take all the responsibility. Do it look like these politicians on TV really care about what people need? They create problems. They they watch the reaction and then they come with a solution. When they already had in the mindset of we're going to make a problem, we're going to watch their reaction, and then we're going to come with a solution. We're going to offer a solution as though they ain't know what the fuck kicked it off. And our people, I mean, where's the love better enough for yourself to be like, man, I'm tired of these motherfuckers lying to me. I'm tired of this shit not moving. I'm tired of our people getting murdered. What can I do? That part right there. Because people be asking me like, Kush, man, what can I do? What you could do is start with yourself. Don't you realize, don't you, you out there, don't you realize you have so much power inside you. You have so much power and authority and force inside you. You just got to know that shit. You really just got to know who the fuck you are. That is all. And once you know who you are, then you can spread that knowledge, that wisdom, that understanding, that love, truth, peace, freedom, and justice to others. Because they're going to start recognizing, man, there's something different about you. I always knew it was something different about you, but now I see. They see now. A lot of people out here, they got to get seen. They, it, it gotta, they have to see it. They have to physically see because... The spells in their mind, it's like, fam, they not going to move unless they see you already got a movement. A lot of people out here, they fake love you and they fake support you versus a stranger who don't know your ass from a can of paint. They don't know you from nowhere. They'll show love. They'll show support. They'll help out because they see that you are moving. They see it and they recognize the light. Like, oh, Moore got light. She got light. He got light. Let me help out. Let me help out because I see they got a, I see them. They got the light. It's not even necessarily that they selling shit as far as they selling clothes, they selling shoes, whatever they doing. They just active. Versus the motherfuckers who you'd have known for the longest, they ain't gonna support you, but they go take their ass down there and support another nationality. They do that shit. They support. They support a whole other nationality, but they know you though. You know them, and they look. They they look at you. They know you own it, and they ain't supporting you. And that just mean look. 
That's the type of love that you don't need. You don't need to surround yourself with motherfuckers that got fake love like that. You see? Right, this walk is definitely different. Islam or this walk definitely different. And the wild part is, it's your birthright. Your birthright. Your birth your birthright can't be sold. It can't be transferred. None of that. You can't buy it. Everybody got it. You looking up human rights? Everybody has human rights. Even if your mama didn't know, like a lot of our parents didn't know, signed off on a birth certificate, made you chattel property, that contract is still null and void. Once you stand up, once you love yourself enough to say, I'm not with that shit no more. It's a fraud. I recognize it. I ain't with it no more. Islam. I ain't with it no more. Islam, more. That part. People ask me, where can I start at? Fam, you know that you got really all the power that you need? The creator gave us each all the power that we really need. We just have to activate it. It just needs to be activated. You can activate it. But that's what a that's what a love for self. The love for self has to activate. It can't just be inactive. You can say you love this and you love all that. We just got to get on that. That's self-love. That's self-discipline. You know what I'm saying? That's empowerment. If you want to empower the next person, once you start empowering yourselves, that's empowering to some. Because somebody might not even know you. And they might see you. Do mankind have human? Everybody got human rights. Everybody has human rights. They just have to be activated. They have to be activated. That's it. They activated off your words. Your words activate and your thoughts. Your, it all, it, everything starts with a thought. Once your thoughts start to activate in a positive way, Islam, then your body, your words are going to do what your mind tells it to do. That part. So when you're saying something like, when you're saying something like, well, what can we start doing? You start activating your love and self. Your love for self will activate everything inside your genetic code. The dark forces don't want you to activate the love inside yourself to start reconnecting them dots inside ourselves. That's what the dark forces, that's their job. Their job is to get us distracted. Start talking about Russia, fucking Ukraine, and all that shit. Start talking about what celebrities are doing. Start talking about what clothes they wearing. Start talking about, you know, cars. You know what I'm saying? Things like that. That really don't mean Bitcoin. All that shit don't mean nothing. Love enough for yourself to be like, look. I love myself enough to know that I know who I am. Even if other people fake act like they don't know who I am, I know who I am. I know I'm a more. So even if they say they don't recognize it, I know I'm in the right. I know that because I studied that. I love myself enough to keep banging on that. And eventually, fam, when you when you keep hitting some, when you keep hitting some, I'm talking about hitting the shit with a hammer. You keep knocking some shit down and you right on where you hitting, eventually that shit going that shit going to come down. You just got to keep banging. You got to keep banging. The world recognizing who the Moors are. But the Moors got to recognize themselves who the fuck we are. We the Moors, fam. We the best. So it's like, and we also could be the worst. See, that's the wild shit. We the best, but we also can be the fucking worst. That's the higher self and the lower self. We can be the best. Of the best, we could be the worst of the worst. Our own people will sell us out. But see, it get ooh, then it get then it get spooky because it be like, nah, what you mean? What you mean we the best and we could be the worst? Nah, you sound like you hating on you sound cush, man. You sound like you hating on our people. Nah, nah, that's just real shit. See, I love myself enough and I love my people enough to say that shit. That shit. 
Shout out to Nevada. But see, it's that part. That's the part that's uncomfortable because our people keep looking at the hybrid European like they the they the ops only, and it ain't our people that's the ops. Nah, it ain't just us that's the ops. It ain't just us that's the ops though, or them that's the ops. It's our own people that be the ops, G. Teddy Islam, or it's our own people that be the ops more so than the hybrids. How? Think about this. Let this shit run around in your. Let this shit run around in your mind real quick. Cook this in your crock pot. It's more people who look like me and y'all, melanated beings on planet Earth, right? More people. So how is it that a small percentage of Albions on the planet have been put in position and maintained that position for a few centuries now? It's only been a few centuries. Think about it. They're getting help. Who they getting help by? They getting help from our people. Man. But see, that's when it get, ooh. See, that's when that's when it gets spooky and shit. Nah, you sound like a hater. Cause you sound like a hater because you saying it like our people be helping out them. Yes, nigga. Our people do be selling out, helping out the dark forces, nigga. They do. But it be on some, nah, you know, I'm just doing it because I gotta, I gotta, I gotta hold my job down. I got a family. I, I gotta I gotta I gotta provide for my family. Get the fuck out of here. You selling out, nigga. You selling out. You joined up with the police. You joined up with the military. Is that your hold up. Hold up. Is that your military? Do those police have a track record of helping out our people? Huh? Action. You got to start putting pressure on these people because the police don't have a track record of helping our people out. You show me anywhere that our people ain't getting harassed, murdered, locked up. You show me that. And violate, violate it all the time. You show me that. Yeah. Some of, some of our people sit on high with the... Yeah. More. A lot of our people, man, like old girl, like old girl on on the TV show, the little the little reality TV show going on right now, talking about old girl that's running for Supreme Court justice, and all these other people talking about, well, how how she talking about she was a a, a district attorney or some shit, and she was locking our people up and all this other riffraff bullshit. You love yourself enough to say. Well, if these people are locking our people up and they're using law, why don't I love myself enough to say, let me start studying law instead of being on the other shitty side of the stick. Let me start learning what they keep coming up to me talking about. I'm in violation because I did something. So let me start knowing if I did something to violate the law. So then I could say, nah. I didn't do anything wrong. You did something wrong. Brrr, start spitting shit out. Because now you start spitting law out. That's a whole different scenario now. That's what they fear. And, they, and the they, the they is the dark ones. The dark ones don't want us to be educated. They want us to be indoctrinated. They want us to be docile. They want us to have that stare in our eyes, that fluoride stare, where you just looking like, you just looking lost and shit. You looking lost instead of being like, nah, I'm actually in my full proper capacity in propio persona su juris, su heritus. So I'm actually where I'm exactly supposed to be. And I'm in full life. Versus being civil little more twos. I'm actually being myself right now. Because I love myself enough to be myself. That part. Versus saying, well, nah, because it's the white man that's doing this. And it's the white man that got his foot on this. It's the white man in the system. It's the white man. You looking to blame. You looking to blame. And then you blaming the wrong motherfucker. Because they not the white man. <laughs> they ain't the white man. They ain't even American. 
Yo, you know what's crazy? Our people looking at this TV show, this whole so-called black Supreme court, court justice judge or whatever, and they looking at that shit like, she's really going to do something for our people. Fam. You're not going to win if you keep playing a game that's rigged. Let me say that again. You're not going to win if you keep playing the same game that's rigged. The U.S. Corporation that overthrew the republic form of government in 1861 all the way up to 1871, you're not going to win in that system of democracy, or they say democracy. Democracy, the demons, the mob rule. You're not going to win in mob rule. The mob runs the democracy. That was set up in the act of Congress in 1871. So it don't matter how many clean moors that you say, well, that's one of ours. They're not saying that. They saying like, yeah, I'm going to go in there. I'm going to fix the system. I'm going to get everything to turn back around for the, for the African Americans. That's how they talking. Unless they talking about nationality, birth rights, inalienable rights, human rights. Unless they talking about that and enforcing law. Unless they talking about that, then they're in the system. What's known as the artificial matrix. That's the system that they in. You got the matrix, the real life matrix, and then you got the artificial matrix. You got two of them. The real life, the organic law, universal law, natural law, common law, and then you got the artificial matrix. Where you got democracy, you got governors, you got senators, Republicans, Democrats, you know, the, 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 the mayors and all that shit that's, that's presented to us. Those people are still promoting color of law. That's what's keeping our people down. Our people keep running to the goddamn thing that's enslaving them. You keep running to color of law. How are you running? You're running by participating in the artificial matrix. That ain't loving yourself. How is that loving yourself? How is that loving yourself? How, how is that loving yourself to run to something that's a de facto? The system that people keep talking about, the system, the system, the system, the system is called color of law. When you say you a color person, you just voluntarily said, hey, 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 I want to be in, I want to be in a color of law system. I want to be locked up. I want to be mistreated. I want to be abused. I got my hand up. I'm waving my hand. That's what you're doing. That's what you're doing. When you wait, when you, when you, when you say I'm, I'm black, I'm a, I'm a so-called black person. You say, Hey, Hey, my rights don't exist. I'm here. I'm right here. Read me, me, me. When you say that you a so-called black person, when you say you a so-called Indian, so-called African American, when you say you're a person of color, you just gave a spell out your mouth that you ain't, it's invisible. You just gave out an invisible dark spell out of your own mouth. So once you said that, remember, remember, damn, remember what they say when they finna put them handcuffs on you. What do they say? You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. So when you just put that dark spell out your mouth and said, hey, I'm a, I'm a so-called black man. But they not saying so-called. So -called. They saying they're a black man. They're a black woman. I'm, I'm, I'm a black man. I'm a black woman. Soon as you soon as you let them words come off your tongue, you just cast a spell that's invisible on yourself. Is that love? Is that love? Why would you want to put a dark spell on yourself? That ain't love. That ain't love at all. 
that ain't love. Is that love? Is that real love that you really want to put a dark spell that can harm you, hurt you, get you killed? Is that love? No, sir. That's not love. Love is the first principle. So why would you want to release words out your mouth that can harm you, hurt you, or get you killed or imprisoned? That's not love. That's the polar opposite of love. That's anti. That's not love. That's anti. Love is, you know, you love yourself enough not to harm yourself, not to hurt yourself, not to... Put yourself in a in a situation where you in prison or your life is in danger. That's love. That's love. Is it not? Love, truth, peace, freedom, and justice. That's love. I want freedom. Don't you want freedom? If you want freedom, why would you put yourself in a compromising position that could be detrimental to your health? That part. Why would you want to do that? That ain't love. That's the, that's the anti, that's the polar opposite. You don't want that. You motherfuckers be out here talking about they love they love this and they love that. Fam. Then you got the nerve to say you love you love all this shit that's going on, all this material shit. If they took all the material love that people say that they love shit, how much love would you really have then? If all your Gucci Prada all your Louis Vuitton, Balenciaga bullshit, all your designer bullshit. If that shit wasn't sold no more in the stores, it was a boycott, the shipment couldn't come into the store, whatever the fuck. How much love would you have if you had to shop somewhere where they didn't have designer? Would you still have the same attitude? Would you still think you the shit if you couldn't wear all that Balenciaga and all that designer shit? How would your love be then? How would your self-love be then? How would your self persona be then if you couldn't wear all that designer shit and now you out here wearing regular shit? Would you still walk around braggadocious and all that shit then? Think about it. Because a lot of people, they got fake love. They say they love some shit just because it got a brand name on it. Would you really be that cocky and all that shit if you didn't have that designer on? Would you really have self value, self worth if you didn't have all that fucking Louis Vuitton and all that shit on. See, we talking about that part. That's love. Love is unconditional. You don't have to have brand names and all that shit to be like, I feel like I love myself enough not to have that exclusive shit on because I don't need it. If I get it, I get it. But I don't need that to have self-love. I don't need that to validate myself to have love for, uh, for or get love from other people. That part. You want to start fixing something? Go with that. That's why love is the first principle. Love is the first principle. So if you need validation from clothing or you need validation from material shit, cars and all that shit, is that really, do you really got love for yourself? If you need that to validate you. So when somebody sees you, you ain't got Balenciaga on. You ain't got Louis on. You ain't got Gucci on today. You ain't got all that high-end expensive shit on today you got some regular degulars some motherfucking jogging pants on some new balances you know what i'm saying you got some 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 motherfucking nikes on whatever the fuck you got on some regular shit some regular tims on some regular shit you know what i'm saying reeboks or whatever whatever the fuck you wear and it ain't that high-end shit would you still value yourself without all that other shit you know what I'm saying? Right. Would you still unconditionally, unconditionally love yourself to present yourself the same way you was when you had all that designer shit on? A lot of people, they rely on that designer shit to act like they really got a lot of value. And they really put a lot of their love and their and they attention into shit that really ain't got no value. That material shit ain't got it. It look good, but it ain't really got it. ain't bringing you no love, though. You just look the part. But minus that shit, though, your ass ain't on shit. You just look like that. But where's your internal value at? Huh? So I'm finna slide, Morris. I just popped on here to beam something out, man. You know what I'm saying? Just popped on here to beam something out. I might, I might, I might. 
Whole time I might beam some out later. I don't know. I'm just waiting. I'm waiting on this uh on this fool right now. So hope y'all got something from this beam out. Appreciate all y'all moors that tune in in real time and on the recorded time. It's always love when the moors build. It's always love when the moors build. Love, fam. That's the first principle. If you really got love for yourself, all that other shit don't even matter. People will start recognizing that more got the light. More got that light. Yeah, all y'all got the light. See, that's the wild shit. All y'all got the light, though. All y'all got the light. Y'all out there, all y'all got the light. You'd be surprised how many people are watching you. You, that I'm talking to you right now. You right there. Be surprised how many people are watching you. They just might not tell you they watching you, but they watching you. Why are they watching you? Because they recognize some shit in you that you might not recognize or you might recognize it. Everybody watching, especially when you love yourself enough to stand up and be the more that you is, that you born as, you born a God, you born a more. So they looking at you like, man, this, I don't know what, I don't know what fam on, but he on some. Nah, they might, they might get a, they, they might get a turban like you. They might get a turban like you. Might inspire them to get a turban like you. You might inspire them to get a fez like you. You might inspire them to 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 second think, second have a second thought in their head before they make a move. You know what I'm saying? It might be something like that. Peace, love. It might be something like that. You might inspire somebody, fam, with the love that you have for yourself. You might inspire somebody that's looking around, looking for inspiration, but they don't speak it though. You see, they might not speak that they need inspiration, but you might be the spark, the divine spark that inspires somebody to be like, man, if they could do it, then I could do it. You never know. And a lot of people are watching you. You, I'm talking to you. A lot of people are watching you. They, they might not say nothing to you. They might just be low key watching, but they might be just watching just you and a few others, though. They might not say nothing though. They might start, you know what I'm saying, doing what you're doing, the crystals. They might start doing, they might start doing a lot of stuff. They might start caring about their health more because they see you doing it. You inspired, I'm talking to y'all right now. You might inspire them. Right. They might not tell you that they watching you, because you know how niggas be. Nah, I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna tell them because if I tell them, they they gonna, you know what I'm saying? People be having their own little motives and shit. That's why I love talking to children because children, they ain't got no motors. Like I was chilling with my babies and my uh and my son Ali, he said something. He said something to me. He said uh he, he called me something. He was like, I was playing with him and he said something like uh he said uh I know what I'm doing. He was like, I know what I'm doing. Something he said. And I was like, boy. I'm like, boy. But I like I love that shit though. And he foe. So I'm I'm looking at him and I'm saying he got it already. He he talking that shit. But he he knowing though. So I ain't gonna put it on him like that to be like, nah, but I I want that shit. I want him to have that. But just keep it focused though. I'm like, hey, watch who you talking to. You know what I'm saying? I gotta tell him that though, cause I'm like, cause I already know I'll get out of control. So I gotta put it on him early though, like. You know what I'm saying? Focus that shit. You feel me? Real shit, though. That higher self. Yeah, the, and the babies, the babies, they don't have no, they don't have no arterial motive. They like shit. Look, this how I am. You know what I'm saying? They like, I'm hungry. They ain't finna fuck around. You know, adults and shit, they be like, ah, they throw little innuendos and shit. You know, start rubbing their stomach and all. Babies, they tell you straight up, hey, daddy, mommy, I'm hungry. <laughs> they ain't got no motives. They pure. You know what I'm saying? They pure. They'll just be on that. And I'll be like, they just say what they want to say. Like my son told me, he was like, he was like, daddy, I, he was like, uh, I think I tried to, I tried to, I tried to like, uh, put lotion on him or something. I think I tried to put, I tried to put low cocoa butter. I tried to, you know what I'm saying, before school, slap him upside his face with the cocoa butter to make sure he got the cocoa butter on right, right? 
Now he four. So I'm like, let me, I said, no, so I did it. And he like, he like, he like, I could do it. He like, daddy, I could do it. I'm looking at him like this little dude. Go ahead, man. Go on. Go ahead and do it, though. But I love that shit, though. Because we as parents got to be on them to encourage that. To be them go-getters. To, to be on that. That's the love that we got to start showing ourselves and each other, though. Fuck all that material. People going to have material motives anyway. But on the positive side, though, the people that got motives... That's positive, like man. Let me let me see what let me see what so and so doing today, and then whole time you might show them some that they've been watching you, and now you just showing them some like damn. Let me get a turban, let me get a fez, let me get some crystals, let me get some uh. What's that demo? That uh. What is that? Them uh, like them candles and all that. Let me let me let me get some candles or something. You might you might be selling some merch, t-shirts or something. And now you might inspire them to be like, I'm gonna I'm gonna do what they doing, but now I'm gonna do it another way. You could just be that divine spark. You know what I'm saying? Whether it's clothing, whatever it is, it's Moorish business though. It's Moorish business. That part. We gotta start kicking off that Moorish business. Businesses. I got some shit for y'all later tonight, though. <sighs> I got some shit for y'all later tonight. Oh, God. Yeah, that sage, all that. That sage, all that. Yeah. Yeah. That sage and all that. You might you might just be doing something, man. Your next door neighbor or some shit. Your fucking friend or something. They might see you coming outside. You might be talking a different way. And they might hear you speak. And it might, it might kick off some shit inside them. But they're like, damn, I'm... I ain't black. Damn. You might be in a you might you might be in a grocery store. Yeah, skincare. All that shit. You might be in a grocery store. And you might have to low-key check somebody. You know what I'm saying? You might have to check somebody or something. But you did it in a way now because you love yourself enough now that you ain't gotta go to the dark. So you will check somebody now in that in that uplifting moorish way. Where you you slice their ass though. You slice them, but you slice them with that more scimitar. So now nah, that cut, that cut different. It ain't like that 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 nigga cut, that ignorant cut. You slice them in a way like, damn, they like, you know what I'm saying? You slice them in a whole different way now, like, ooh, damn. I remember I checked this dude in the shop one time. He was talking crazy shit. I checked this out. He was saying some wild ass shit. I think he was a, uh, I think he was a. I think he was a uh, Hebrew Israelite or he was a uh, God of the earth or some shit. I said something to him and I didn't even know. I knew what I was saying for sure. But then when the dude left and shit, one of the customers in the chair was like, I like how you handled that. I like how you handled that, bro. And I'm like, appreciate it, man. I was like, what you like? I was like, what you like about it? He was like the whole, the whole, the, the, the whole delivery he was like the whole delivery. I just, I just, I just. It resonated with me. I was like, "That's what's up, man. I appreciate it." I ain't even know they was listening like that. Real shit. I ain't even know he was listening. He talking to his barber and shit. It be like that. So you out there, you moors out there, you never know who watching you. That's why you gotta have love enough for self to be like, look, I gotta, I gotta be the best I could be. That's how the nation get uplifted. That's how the love, true peace, freedom, and justice get kicked off. The love starts with self, though. I got some shit for y'all later tonight, fam. Yeah, shout out to Detroit, Michigan. I got some shit for y'all tonight, though. I might beam my something tonight. I got some. I got some on deck. I got some on deck. Straight up. So, it's all love, Morris. You know how I get down. You know how I get out, fam. If you don't have the book, get the book. Get the book by Powell Chang, fam. Been telling, been telling more about this book. Telling, telling all nationalities about that book. You about to cook them? Ah, yeah. Set their ass on fire. You know what I'm saying? Straight eat the bombs, G. That's all we dropping. Telling you. 
The vibration going higher, fam. The vibration going higher. If you ain't walking, if you're not listening to what the prophet said, if you don't get behind the prophet, a lot of people, they're not going to make it through. You got to get behind the prophet, G. M-A-T, I ain't rocking with it, G. I ain't rocking with it. I'm, I'm only rocking, right, word magic. I'm only rocking with what the prophet brought. That's what I'm rocking with. If it go against what the prophet brought, that let you know. I'm only rocking with what the prophet brought, G. He brought everything it takes to save a nation. Why go against that? Why try to create something against what the prophet already brought? If it got something to do with anything that's against what the prophet Noble Dry Lee brought, that let you know it's a fraud. I, you know what I'm saying? I, <laughs> a passport, a, a fucking documentation, a certification. What we doing? Like, like what we what we doing? It's like it's if it's, it's it's that's not what the prophet brought. It's not. All you guys say to neutralize the conversation. Is that what Noble Juali said? Is that what Noble Juali wrote? Whole conversation neutralized. Is that what Noble Juali brought? <laughs> That's all you gotta say. Somebody, somebody talking that. Ah, nah, nah, nah. Is that what Noble Juali brought? Whole conversation about the Muslim thing. They were talking about Muslims. Muslims, Muslims is not is not Moors and Muslims is is Moors and Moors only. Yeah. Did Prophet Noble Jali say that or write literature about what you're saying? Is that in the Divine Constitution? Is that in the One on Ones? Is that in the Law Book? And law governs all events. So if it's not found in any law book, what we talk about? <laughs> Keep it simple, man. Straight up. Peace, Moors. I got to slide real fast, though. I appreciate all y'all Moors that tune in on these beam mops. Real shit, though. I self-law and master. Islam.